Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you today some major um, fights going on in the United States when it comes to Tesla and the big three as well as Toyota and Volkswagen. Furthermore, we were looking to um, yeah, the changes in rules that happened between Obama, Trump and now and um, why these fights are happening and look into the chip shortage, full self-driving button and look into Germany. So we will start right away now first with the chip shortage, which is a topic that we have been aware of in these um, yeah, entire year of 2020. Uh, one and um, of course this topic will go into 2022 as well but Elon who is yeah um, one of the person who should know what's really happening in this topic um, mentioned recently that he believes that it will stop by the beginning of 2022 and it is just a temporary um, situation and not something that we will have to deal with in the long term so that is good to know um, furthermore, um, looking into the situation with GM, Ford, Volkswagen and Toyota, um, those companies are actually going against um, Tesla, but not in an obvious way. What they do is, um, it is about a rule um, from Obama back then, um, where Obama was actually making um, a rule that the um, diesel and gas like gasoline cars um, have to be uh, better in fuel economy. Um, nothing else meaning that um, they get, need to get more efficient. Um, so uh, travel more miles or more kilometers um, with the same amount of gasoline. Uh, it's something that um, I don't find a bad rule. I mean, initially it is better to be more efficient. Um, but what happened under Trump is that he was reverse, reversing that one um, at, the, at the end of his presidency. And now, of course, um, the um, companies like GM, Ford and Toyota, as well as Volkswagen, have really enjoyed um, that they don't have to pay any penalties. Um, and this is now changing because um, Tesla is trying with the N NHTSA, um, with, these, um, uh, with these regulators, that they get that back to um, the time when it was under Obama. And the reason behind that is, of course, that Tesla has some interest here um, because they can make money with it. Um, and furthermore, um, yeah, they want that these rules are getting implemented again. And the interesting part is that for me as a German Volkswagen, um, not publicly going against it, but really being on the position like for Toyota and GM is pretty weird as they are trying in Germany to present themselves as this great EV company moving into EVs. And on the other hand, in the United States, um, they are um, not opposing that. And that makes no sense for me. And um, we do see that with Toyota already for a long time, um, which is no surprise that they are in this position. So um, this is pretty much um, kind of a fight that is um, happening between Toyota and these four companies. Um, please let me know what you think, if it's a good um, rule, a good legislation um, to put that back into place. Um, looking into Grünheide, we do have some great news as well from here, um, because the um, 500 papers um, are now online. Um, it is possible to uh, look inside them and there are all these people um, able to um, yeah comment on them, um, give their opinion. It is all put together. Um, since um, the 24th, um, the online um, hearing has started now. So we have to see how long that takes. Um, I would say maybe a week. Um, then we are end of September. And after that, um, of course, all of that stuff that was discussed in that week has to be analyzed. Um, maybe let's say another week, um, meaning that like after the first week of October, we could see all the papers um, at, uh, at the desk of those persons deciding for the final permission. Just again, we have a lot of indications as well from public sites, from government sites, from all those um, offices that decide if this final permission is going to happen. We do have really positive indications that there is actually no reasons 
um, to stop this um, yeah, production or um, Tesla um, being able to uh, produce cars over there. So um, this is really important that you consider what the government says and on the other hand what all these offices say against these um, oppositions of people still trying to go against it. Um, for me personally, I think the reason why they still do that, it is just a way um, to say afterwards that we gave everyone the chance and they just want to be 100% sure that there are no lawsuits, that something went wrong. Because pretty much the government could say right now, okay, or, and the officers could say, well, we're going to give them the final permission. But they just want to be sure that afterwards there are no legal um, loopholes anymore to go against this uh, project. And this is the reason why they still do these online hearings here right now. And I think that is a better way um, than um, just going fast track. Um, I think now we are so near, uh, it is just the final steps. So um, I think we are on a good way here, um, as well as the battery cell production um, that is taking shape here. And you see the progress is um, enormous in the past um, week since they have started to do that. Going back to the United States, we have as well some news for the full self-driving um, button. Um, it's supposed to be updated since Friday night. Um, if you are from the United States, please give me an update um, if it's actually showed up in the weekly or two uh, every two week update that was supposed to come on Friday. Um, this button, again, just for the explanation, who, for those who don't know that, um, will be able um, for everyone. So everyone can t um, press it. Um, but not everyone is going to be um, able to be part of it because you have to allow Tesla to um, observe your driving behavior for one week. And I believe that even afterwards, when you are actually entering um, the beta version, um, they will really monitor how you're driving. So that is something you need to be aware of. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to have your data being shared to Tesla, that is not a good idea to do that because, of course, Tesla is going to um, observe how your driving behavior is. Um, that for one week, um, that's what they officially said. But I'm really sure they will do that even after um, you're entering the beta version because they want to ensure that there are no mistakes happening or no misuses happening. So this is as well really good news. Um, I'm just waiting for um, Europe to come as well into play at some point because a lot of people are waiting over here. So thank you very much for listening to today's video. I'm really glad to have you all here for this Saturday um, episode. So thank you very much. Take care.